The unsheltered population in La Crosse is running out of places to stay. Today, the City of La Crosse Public Works Department voted to approve no camping on public works properties. News and Now's Jeremy Wall joins us live in studio with the latest. Jeremy? Yeah, that's right, Ken. The facilities include garages, well houses, lift stations, and any public works property. The decision comes as vandalism, theft, and break-ins have been reported at some of its structures. Guys, some of the sites have no trespassing signs and fences around them, like the, uh, the city's wastewater treatment plant right there. The board's decision today strengthens that rule to include no camping. According to City Council member Rebecca Schwartz, these restrictions were not part of the ordinance passed by the City Council back in July prohibiting overnight camping on city property. Earlier, I spoke to Kayla Ryan from the Salvation Army. Ryan says for months, the shelter has been at capacity and they've been turning people away. Ultimately, there just isn't enough resources to go around. I think the city and county and all of us agencies are doing the best we can with what we have. I also spoke with City Council member Rebecca Schwartz as well. While she supports today's decision, she says there needs to be more done to help the unsheltered population. I personally feel that we need um, more federal aid to come into our communities to help with this. How we would use that federal aid, where that would go, and the best way to get people off the streets, especially in severe weather, hot or cold, is something that each community has to figure out. In addition, I spoke to Rob Grover from Catholic Charities. He tells me the warming center hasn't been at full capacity yet because of the weather. But guys, he says once the weather gets colder and enforcement increases, he thinks more people will be stopping by. Ken and Emily. All right, thank you, Jeremy. The city is working on a five-year plan that will have a larger and more long-term solution to homelessness in La, Cro La Crosse. Right now, it's just in the planning stages. Schwartz says the council hopes to know more by the new year.